Hey, hi guys, it's Mike. Not at the easel today, but we are going to do some... Okay, we're back on our really good pot roast out of Cook's Illustrated. Next step is to put in two tablespoons of butter into a very nice, heavy-duty Dutch oven. Uh, I believe this is $100 for this item. Who makes it? Not sure, but it's nice. I use it now and then. So, let's fire it up. There's my meat. Got an hour on that, just sitting there. Get that drop in uh, two tablespoons of butter, unsalted. I'm gonna melt that, and then we're gonna brown some onions. Okay, my butter is a little bit dark over medium heat. In goes two medium onions, half and sliced thin. A little stir here. So that was two medium onions sliced in on medium heat in your Dutch oven with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let that cook eight to ten minutes. Well, our onions are starting to brown. It's been about ten minutes, so I'm going to put in. Uh, I put in two carrots, about one cup's worth, chopped medium, and one piece of celery, chopped medium, about three quarter cups. So that goes into our mixture. We'll let that cook, stir that up, let it cook about uh, five more minutes. All right, we did about five minutes on our celery and carrots, and now we want two teaspoons of garlic this one we like big teaspoons of garlic two teaspoons of garlic stir that up about 30 seconds here just till fragrant Next, I'm going to put in one and a half cups, which is one cup of beef stock, and then I added a half cup of Cabernet, which is a dry red wine. So that's going in next. Okay. Also calls for a tablespoon of tomato paste. Please somebody invent something that will keep tomato paste once you use one tablespoon. Let's get that in there. Stir that up, then we'll get the meat on top. Okay, we brought this to a simmer, dropped in one bay leaf. And the next step calls for patting the meat dry, which I did with a paper towel, and generously sprinkling with pepper. Did I say sprinkling or sprinkling? I'll put a bunch of pepper on there. All right, nice peppering. Okay, so. Turn this off. Transfer our meat into the pan. Nestled on top of the vegetables. She laughs, but uh, she'll eat it later won't be laughing then. We got a big 
piece of meat here and ain't quite working out. Lift that up. Get that down there. There. There we go. It's just uh, probably halfway up on the liquid. Okay? Now, cover with a piece of tin foil. Nobody's here to help me with the camera. Put the lid on it. Transferring to a preheated 300 degree oven for three and a half to four hours. See you then. All right, uh, about three and a half hours later, just pop this bad boy out of the oven. And uh, let's take a quick poke here. Oh my God, it is just super tender. So that's essentially the meat portion. I'll go into the gravy next. All right, this is it. Look, look at this. Just fork tender. Yeah. Came out really good. Got the special gravy we're gonna put on it. Well, that's it. Really good pot roast. Just get it on and let's go so it's not cold. Cook, Cook's Illustrated. See you next time.